Hi, um, my name is Asavia Kaonga, all the way from Zambia in Africa. Um, when I was asked to share, I was just thinking through what I, what I can share because there is literally numerous and countless testimonies that I could share of people on their sick bed standing up and walking again and demon possessed set free in the name of Jesus um, but I just felt like the Holy Spirit was just leading me to say share about what I have done in your personal life because testimonies they are not only limited to how God has worked through you but also I mean testimonies can be of how God has worked in you and um, yeah I was just thinking so it's been like um, six seven years since I started working with Overland Missions and um, I remember the first time when I was introduced to Overland Missions I was just I mean, I was a believer, but a very indisciplined believer who took the grace of God for granted, who um, was not really working in my, in the manner of, worthy of my calling, you know, um, going to church, doing little good things here and there, but my life didn't really have anything to show until um, I think it was a year or two um, while with over and then it was during one of the revival weeks Those that know Zambians, we don't cry, but and I get emotions sometimes. <laughs> um, anyways, and it was during well, well in, in that revival week that Jake was preaching, and after he finished preaching, you know, and 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 those that know me back there, I was seated right in the back because I don't want to be the center of attention. And after he preached, he said, there are people here that the Lord has placed upon my heart that I should pray for you tonight. And he had, he had names and I was one of those people that he called. And I remember when he, when he reached up where I was to pray for me, he first read the scripture, I think it's Isaiah 63 or Luke 4 verse 18, which talks about the Spirit of God is upon me, for he has anointed me to preach the gospel, to, to open the eyes of the blind and to set the captives free. And, he's, and he spoke that on me. And I was like, Lord, I don't know why, but I believe. And <laughs> it was like, after that, it was like something that has been set on fire and thrown in the thatch. Um, I traveled the whole Zambia uh, in different places preaching the gospel and wherever I went with the team I saw the sick healed the demon possessed set free and people gave their lives to Christ and I was just thinking tonight to say this is why Paul from time to time he emphasized on the point that this gospel is not just empty words, but is full of power to transform lives. And that's what happened to me. I didn't believe in myself, but it took someone to see potential in me that you are not just a typical Zambian who should probably just born in the same village, die in the same village and forgive get forgotten but someone saw potential in me of course through the spirit of God and prayed for me and encouraged me and and now I can preach the gospel everywhere in the world why not not only because I've heard about him but because I've seen him working in my life Paul said for the gospel is not just in words of eloquence but in the demonstration of power. And I want to encourage you tonight to say, 
in case you are doubting of, should I go? You don't necessarily have to go to Africa or somewhere else. But if you're, you're the one who is still fighting the call of God upon your life, I'm here to encourage you that someone is waiting for you to go and speak these words of life and their lives will never be the same. The same words were spoken on me. And right now, my wife and I are country directors of the country, um, Democratic Republic of Congo. And we've been there since 2020 and we love it. We've raised 10 Congolese missionaries that are working full time with us, doing the work just as much as we are because we believe there's no junior Holy Spirit and senior Holy Spirit. The same Holy Spirit who is in us can use them and will use them to do just as much as any one of us here can. Thank you so much.